Navigating the capital market landscape has not been an easy task for REITs or any other company in 2009. Here to take a look at the current landscape is Molis & Company Managing Director Alex Rubin. From an investment banker standpoint, can you compare the current capital market situation to what REITs were facing at the start of the year? Earlier this year was a period of profound and pronounced illiquidity. Uh, all new and refinancing activity virtually ground to a complete stop. Uh, the period we are experiencing currently is one of uh, modest but meaningfully improved uh, levels of liquidity for our clients to raise equity and in more limited uh, examples, debt financing as well. Overall, how would you say the listed REIT market has handled the dislocations in the market? Uh, it's my view that on balance, the commercial real estate industry, particularly uh, those listed companies, have uh, acted very thoughtfully and with great discipline in looking after the shareholders' capital uh, that they manage. We've already seen more than $19 billion in secondary offerings this year. Is this a trend you expect to continue? I think most of the uh, primary capital raising we've seen completed so far this year by existing uh, listed REITs has, for the most part, been defensive in nature. These are examples of transactions whereby companies are restoring defensively their balance sheet liquidity. Uh, I, I think going forward we will see that shift to perhaps more of an offensive or opportunistic approach. As you mentioned, the majority of these funds have been used for defensive purposes. What does the future hold in terms of debt maturities? Uh, we as an industry face a formidable amount of debt maturities over the next several years, uh, an amount measured not in billions or tens of billions, but quite literally hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, I think this is perhaps the signature or key area of focus for our clients that uh, we are interested in helping them work through. What do you think is likely to happen as more of these distressed mortgages and distressed properties come onto the market? Um, I think the recapitalization that will be necessary for maturing uh, maturing indebtedness in the absence of comparable leverage, uh, which is likely to be the case for some time, uh, will require the recapitalization of assets or companies uh, with equity uh, coming in the form of public equity, private equity, or in the most challenging situations, the conversion of existing debt to equity in a recapitalization or restructuring. Alex, thank you very much. For REIT.com, I'm Matt Bichard.